girls that try to hook you up with a lot of people don't know is Karuchi. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. Me, Chris Brown, and Omaria, y'all were brothers. Yeah. Right? One night, they said, bring all these girls. So I brought all these girls. And one of the girls was Karuchi. Right, right. Do you remember that night? Yeah. Y'all were kind of feeling each other. And that's true. And I thought y'all were going to be a thing. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. And then she was, media, she was on media takeout with Chris. Right. And you never say anything. What? If I was you, I would, you know. Come on now, you got to be unbothered. You've been unbothered for a long time. Chris Brown hopped on Atlanta and responded to Mario. He said, man, if you don't get your lame ass on somewhere, niggas be reaching for the stars. The one thing that I noticed about Chris Brown over the years, if you speak on his ex, it don't matter if he was with her five years ago, 10 years ago. If you speak on her, he gets super overprotective. He don't want you to mention her or do nothing. He did this shit plenty of times. I remember when him and Karuchi first broke up. I think she was with the dude named Victor Cruz. And they was posting pictures together. He was on the captions laughing, telling some corny ass nigga, you lame, this and that. And you would think somebody like Chris Brown with all the fame, all the money, all the accolades, he can get any girl he want. Why he be so pressed on Rihanna or Karuchi or whoever he talking to? He be so pressed on him. He literally pulled up on Karuchi. I think she was coming from a date or some shit. He pulled up on her ass. And she ain't know what to do. Like, this nigga will do the most. So, I don't know if the story is true. But according to Jason Lee, he brought Karuchi and some other girls around. It looked like she was feeling Omarion. Then the next thing he know, he see Chris Brown online booed over Karuchi. But this shit happens all the time in the industry. These girls get passed around. One day a girl could be with Chris Brown, the next day Usher, then Rick Ross, then Lil Wayne, then Two Chains. Like they get passed around. That's how these video girls become influencers or rappers. It all start from them trying to get on in a type of way. Whether they get surgery, get BBLs, or they mess with a rich dude. It's so many celebrities, quote unquote celebrities, only famous for effing a rich dude, getting pregnant. So Karucha ain't no different. And for him to still be in his feelings years later, when all he was doing was answering a question he was asked. Like, come on now, this nigga Chris Brown be too sensitive. I know they worked together in the past, but I don't know how cool they is now. I'm assuming they cool, but if they not cool, I get why Chris Brown feels some type of way. Like, nigga, don't speak on me. We not cool. But if they is cool, and he just talking about an ex that you had years ago, I don't see the big deal. But that's just me on the outside looking at man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be close.